All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Up and In Show. We're probably in the 80s. I don't know. With 80 episodes. Somebody turn that car off. Unbelievable. Uh, but we're here at Cards and Culture. We're going to switch up the background. Usually I'm sitting over on the purple couch over there, but I'm here with my boy Jack Besh. Uh, thank you for Still joining me. Good. Yeah, dude. So what you got going on today? Football season is over right now. It's right. Or you guys are well, preparing for the, yeah, the ball game, bowl. right? So we work out a couple. We work out like two, three days a week. And we okay. practice the rest. Nice. It's like we practice Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. We'll work out Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, nice. No. Yeah, it's a little weird. So I'm going to let you introduce yourself a little bit, but uh, you're from Lafayette, Louisiana, mm -hmm. right? St. Thomas More High School? Yep. Nice. Yep. My yep. boy Mikey Matuk went there. Yeah, you know, that's Mikey. like Legend. my cousin. Oh, really? Yeah. Bro, how many people are cousins with Mikey Matuk? I right, feel like, right? Right, it, Yeah, it, their family is huge though, right? So Yeah, like his, uh, his aunt is my godmother. Okay, nice. Okay. Sure. Small world, dude. All right, so you grew up out in Lafayette, St. Thomas More High School. Was LSU always like your dream? You wanted to come here? Yes. Yeah, that's like I always tell people. I grew up in Jersey, 100%. so it's like I never had that. I wanted to play for the Yankees. I grew right. up in Jersey. It was New York. Played baseball. And I was like, I didn't have that like college feel or anything. So I'm so jealous of all you guys that grew up here and wanted right. to play here. And and I just want to go to LSU and play. Exactly. Yeah. Most definitely. So you dominated in high school. You get a scholarship to LSU, and this was your freshman year here, right? At LSU. Yep. Nice. All right. So yep. talk us through a little bit about your freshman year. You finished your freshman year now, or you're kind of finishing up your freshman year. You obviously have had some coaching changes and some things like that. Yeah. So give me the spiel, man. Like, tell me what you think about your first year. It's been a crazy journey. Yeah. The road's definitely. been definitely up and down. Um, but it's been fun, though. Um, sometimes change is necessary. And that's what, you know, that's what's happening. Uh, Coach Kelly and his new staff are Obviously, he's going to bring in more people over the next couple of weeks. Um, but, you know, the new strength and conditioning staff, um, you know, there were two workouts in with them, and they've already worked this out pretty well. And they definitely know what they're doing. Um, you know, they have a really good plan for us. So does Coach Kelly. Um, so excited for that. Excited to see what that brings. Um, but this season was definitely crazy. Didn't know I was going to get as much, you know, field time as yeah. I did and, and do some of the things I did. But. Just blessed to be able to do it, you know, without God. Obviously, none of this could be possible, but definitely very thankful that I got all the opportunities I did get this year. And, yeah. You know, we got one more game, so more opportunities to come. So we just got to finish the season strong with a win. Absolutely. So I'm excited for it. Yeah, dude. Well, it's been fun to watch you this whole year, man. And so talk to me a little bit about your journey coming in. You said you weren't prepared. You weren't expecting to play that much on the field. Obviously, like, we all come in with confidence and things yeah. like that, right? Well, but talk to me a little bit about how you got more playing time, that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, I, I always knew okay. and thought I could play with anybody. True I freshman, right? I don't care right? if you put me against anybody. I knew I, I was belonged and could be there. It wasn't that aspect of it. It was just, like, you know, freshman coming in. Yeah. Um, not one of the more highly recruited guys. Like, okay. one of the like, I think I was, like, the last kid to sign or really? one of the last kids to sign. That's wild. Um, So just, like, the circumstances, I just didn't know if I was going to get the opportunity to play right. much. Right. Um, But I guess after, you know, I got on the field a couple of times, kind of showed them what I could do throughout fall camp and the summer. Um, and whenever I actually got in the games, yeah. it kind of showed them I'm, like, a game player. Like, I could do good at practice, but when, I, you know, the lights turn on the game is here, like, I'm, That's it's your time, time to go. Like, yeah. You know, uh, love big lights. Love playing in front of a lot of people. Like big games is what I live for. Like I love the big moment. But um, so Tiger Stadium was all right for you. That yeah. was that was your spot. Yeah, cool, Saturday night Tiger Stadium. Ever. Yeah, first time running out in that stadium, walking out the Tiger Walk. I can remember like every step. Um, ah, that's but yeah, awesome. this whole season has just been journey crazy. I'm just excited for the future and what yeah. that holds. And, just keep going. Yeah. Well, talk to me a little bit. I, I played baseball growing up. I got recruited a little bit in basketball, you know. So I don't know what other sports you played growing up, but how was what was your recruiting life like in in high school? Was it like I know for me, I was uh, I was in Jersey and it was like there's not too many baseball players that come out of there, you know. So yeah. my dad protected me and did all these things. Right. So was it kind of similar for you? Did you know your path was going to be D1 and, you know, that kind of stuff? Um, I really realized or obviously it was always my dream to go D1. Yeah, yeah. Um I really knew I had a really good chance my sophomore year, um, but I didn't get, like, I really wasn't recruited by, like, any top programs really? until, like, a month before signing day. Like, I was committed to Vanderbilt for, like, eight months. Oh, um, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was committed to Vanderbilt from, like, February of 2020 to 
like November of Damn. 2020. So I was Are like, you smart? I thought, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm, no, I'm pretty smart. I get you. I know what you mean. But, yeah, yeah. But like, but, you're not like Vanderbilt, like Ivy yeah. League. Like, right. I got you. I'm the same way. Um, I wanted to go to Vanderbilt too. That was my number one right. school. Yeah. Um, I was committed. I thought, holy, I was going there. That's dope. Because I, I had, a, I had a good bit of offers. I had like 20. Yeah. But there were like, there was like, um, Vanderbilt, um, I'm trying to think like Arizona, Tulane, La Tech, um, and like a bunch of schools like yeah. that. And that came um, on later, you said? And no, those were all like okay. offers throughout I, year, I, yeah. I, I threw out, I had. But then it was like a month before signing day. Big, LSU big dogs. offered me, and then whenever LSU offered me, um, the next day, no, that day, Mississippi State offered me the day after that, Texas, CCU, and then a couple of days after that, it was like Notre Dame. Like all these schools have been recruiting me, right? But they were none of none of them wanted to offer me, yeah, just because they didn't want to. I guess they they want to take a chance on me, and yeah. then LSU was finally finally did offer me and took the chance, and all these other schools were like, well, well we don't want to miss out. And right. if LSU offers them, then we should too. So yeah. kind of just created a little ripple effect. Yeah, that's but, wild. Did you commit on the spot when LSU called and be like, all right, this is cool. <laughs> Not on the spot, but yeah. it didn't take long. Yeah, as I bet. Yeah. That's, that's not on crazy. the spot, but it definitely did not take long. I can't imagine what that call was like because, like I said, I came – my story was I wanted to go to Vanderbilt out the jump because it was right. like they were they were popping up in, in baseball when I was in high school. Virginia – I really wanted to go to Virginia or UNC. And I had a couple small offers, but it was like I just didn't – I didn't get that love and everything. And then LSU kind of came in at the last minute. I mm -hmm. came down here for a visit and I wasn't planning on coming. It was just kind of like I came, I, I committed on the spot. I, just really? like, I fucking love it. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to see anywhere else. I didn't That's even go crazy. to, I didn't even go to Vanderbilt after I was like, I don't even want to see Vanderbilt. I was like, I know this is sick. Yeah. I love it. I'm here. And then I'm for sure. Oh, this is like my home and everything. So I love hearing those stories. And I'm like, I can't imagine what that would have yeah. been like just to get that call and be like, holy shit, yeah. this has been my dream. Definitely my surreal. Life. Yeah. And then actually living out is even more surreal. Yeah, absolutely. And then you come here and you do exactly what you want right. to do. This is your so you were a true freshman this year. Yeah, man, that's wild. How did uh how did COVID affect your like senior year and all that for high school? Well, that was a big thing for recruiting with me. I couldn't like whenever I got on campus. Yeah. The first time. Yeah. In May, like to come live here, moving yeah. my stuff. That was the first time I met like all the coaches. Oh shit! Like this was, May or this past May or like whatever. This, this May. Yeah. It's the first time I met these coaches because of. Um, COVID and I didn't get recruited like early oh, on. Oh my God. So, that's wild. I mean, I saw them through like Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like stuff like that, but never had I met them in like IRL. Damn. That's wild. Yep. So then May 2021, you guys start camp and do all that. And that's yeah. like the first time you just know everybody, all your teammates, and you're just in the mm -hmm. mix. And then like with, with all the COVID stuff, like nothing was happening. Yeah. I mean, recruitment was stagnant. I mean, because you couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, People what couldn't could come do? see you. Yeah. So we were just like posting videos to Twitter, trying to get like recruited more. <laughs> like I was just like just post videos on Twitter of me like running routes. Or, yeah, yeah. Of like, and would you tweet at people or out. just like just post it out I there just, just for people to, to see? Just see, you know where where it went. Wow, um, that's yeah, pretty wild. Recruiting was stagnant. Yeah, that is wild. Well, damn. Well, that's wild. All right, so you go. It's pretty wild to go from that all that whirlwind then you come up here on campus in july 2021 20, they say oh now you guys can get paid how was that for you like how how wild yeah. was that for an experience definitely pretty cool i mean i didn't think i was really going to be partaking yeah, in it yeah. that much um i didn't even know what it is and you know there's still a lot to it but it's definitely been pretty cool that our class right yeah. now we got here can start getting paid yeah i mean you can get paid for virtually really anything you do yeah like go sign 10 balls yep. or go take a picture with somebody or like whatever, yeah, whatever. I like mean, you guys call in interviews, out. like yes, whatever. Like if anybody asks you to do anything, you could literally put a price on it. Literally, yeah. And and you guys, and that's the thing that I love about you guys right now is at a younger age, you guys are learning how to be your own brand. I hate that's right. such a buzzword, right? Brand. But like being your yeah, own brand, yeah. you know, like and learning how to monetize your image, mm -hmm. learning how to create a little business around yourself, you right. know? And, and the good part is, you know, like you guys are eventually. We were talking about this the other day. Eventually, your career is going to be over. We don't know if it's going to be three, five, 10, 20 years from now, but eventually right. it's going to be over and you need to create something else or have something else to be able to live with, right? No matter how good your career is. So I think it's awesome that you guys are getting this start right now and can have a little nest egg if you guys do something right, you know, sure. and like get some good stuff. For sure. What's been the most exciting uh, NIL thing that's like come up for you? Um, what you mean by like, like most exciting? Cool, yeah, like cool, br any dope brands? Like Probably my, uh, my friend's brand, um, 
Modier. Oh, okay. What's pretty that? Pretty cool. Uh, like those shirts we made. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All those. That's dope. Because so it kind of got, yeah, my friend's company, um, Ezra on the show with Modier. He, yeah. He's been having that business for a little while now, but I think it was so cool because, like, it caught buzz pretty quick. Yeah. Like, That's the best one from Louisiana. Yeah. One. yeah. Like, people just, like, caught on with it. Yeah. And they love the idea of them. And, like, the thing we got going is, like, we don't have, like, you can't just go buy one whenever. Yeah. It's like, we'll have a couple of drops. We'll only make, like, 200 of them. That's smart. So, like, they'll sell out quick, but then, like, not everybody has them. Right. So, exactly. it's like, it's like it keeps a buzz around them. Yep. It's like every time, like, if you wait a couple of weeks or a month to post them again, they'll just keep going. Yeah. Just because people want them and not everybody, you can't just, like, go get one right now. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got to, like, so, I mean, that's pretty cool how we, like, orchestrated that. You created that dope. demand. Like, people are almost waiting right. for it and looking for the next drop right. or, like, looking for the next thing. Like, the hoodies we made, we made some <clears throat> hoodies. Um, We made, like, hoodies, long sleeve T-shirts, and, like, crew necks. Yeah. And within, like, a day and a half, they were all gone. That's dope. So That's cool. Do you design them with them? Like, you sit down yeah, and design them? Yeah, uh, I don't sit down and design them, but because just fo- we just don't have time. But um, he'll, he'll do them. He'll draw up, like... A couple like five to ten, yeah, and then we'll talk Pick it through and, yeah, and we'll go through. Pick yeah, that's what dope. we want. Nice, so, and then obviously and, obvi- and a cool one I just got thrown is like salivate game coin. Oh yeah, and then obviously this the signing I did here, yeah, which was really really cool. Um, that was that was fun. That man. was that was yeah. I can't wait for the next one. Dude, that, that was, was definitely sick, cool. Yeah. That, that was, was really was cool. that your one of your first signings or whatever? That was my first signing. Let's go. Yeah. That was our first no, one. No, this here one. Too. Yeah, no, that one. That that one was. Really cool. It was different from all the other ones, yeah. obviously, because it was, like, interaction. You really get to meet people and, like, um, yeah. like meet your fans and stuff. Yeah. So that was really cool. That's what I was able to do all that. I think that'll be really cool. We barely even promoted that. We were talking about it. We, yeah. we didn't pr- push it that much. So I think the next one's going to be really fun where we get ahead of it and, like, tell people mm-hmm. what it is. And, and what we were talking about earlier, we can – now that we know each other a little bit more, we know the people that we're putting right. it on, we could do a shoe raffle here. We could do a video game, like, tournament, like, and where you can make extra money before or after, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. where people sign up for extra stuff. So that's the thing that is fun is, like, the sky's the limit. We can do whatever the fuck we want, yeah. you know? Like No, literally. Yeah. And, like, it helps so much to be in a store like this because, yep. like, you have so much cool stuff, like, everywhere around, like, shoes, clothes, like these hats and beanies, like I'm eyeing that Supreme beanie up top. Like, might have to walk out with that. Um, yes. But just like the whole vibe and energy of the store is like dope and it's like perfect for that setting. Appreciate you, man. That's awesome, dude. I, yeah. I, that's kind of like what I wanted to start this out was, was kind of creating an atmosphere for athletes, for fans, for people to come to where it's just a different experience mm-hmm. instead of just going somewhere and signing your name 10 times, shaking a hand and walking out the door. Right. Like this is some place you want to come back. You're looking forward to the next one, all that stuff. So. That made my day, man. Here, most that. definitely, yeah. most definitely, and that was our first one too. So that was history for us. Like I knew yeah. I was gonna do that eventually. I just hadn't built out the the setting for it or done it, right. you know. And like, and like I said, there's a lot of moving parts. You saw all those jerseys that you mm-hmm. guys were signing in the mm-hmm. back. I was like, I'm not it, ready for that. And yet. it looks like we might have a pretty cool guest next yes. next signing. When is that? The 29th, maybe of January. Yeah, I yeah. think. Cam, Cam. Uh, oh, we can't say. Oh, it. We, we can't, can't say right. it. So it's Cam, we gotta let Taylor it be. Cam. We don't know who Cam is. Taylor, it could be Cam Newton. It could be. I don't know. We don't even know. I don't think anybody's going to get it either. Yeah, I know. But, like, but if people knew, they'd be like, damn. That's a little tease, though. I like that. I don't know. It could be anybody. Yeah. That's good. All right, there we go. We'll just, we'll just tease it a little bit. I messed yeah. up there. Maybe we cut no, it No, you didn't mess that. it up. <laughs> it's going to come out on a fire sooner or later. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But that's good. And we'll promote that. The people, yeah. let, let them. We're going to promote that a lot, too. And that's going to be the good definitely, thing is definitely. we'll, uh, we'll promote that more. We'll get more people in here. Definitely. I think that's going to be really cool. And, and, uh, just create different experiences for people. Yeah. That's the thing. Hundred percent. Like not just the traditional meet and greets, all that stuff. So, what about um? Talk to me about what's next for you, then, man. Like this is uh, sophomore. Or, you know, obviously your next year. You got a couple more years here. Hopefully, the next step, the next yeah. level. How does all that work? Do you have an agent? Are you kind of like getting ready to um, do that stuff? Not yet. There's no need for it yet. Yeah. I mean, some people get them, but I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I just feel like you need the agent closer to time. Yeah. Um, so for all your endorsement deals right now, you just kind of been negotiating them on yourself. You have a marketing agent. Yeah, like a couple. Like I didn't want to be exclusive with anybody. Yeah. I wanted whoever smart whoever wanted to come to me can come to me. Yep. And can like I have a couple of people that help me with like my dad. Yeah. Um, like some different a couple of different agents that yeah, come yeah, and yeah. bring stuff, but like I'm not exclusive with smart. with one person. No, that's smart. Um, just because like. 
I don't know. I, I feel like right now, like we're not making. I'm not sitting here making a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. So right. like, if I'm making like five hundred dollars, like I don't feel the need to have somebody take like twenty percent of that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. I mean, and that's what is that really doing for somebody else to grab exactly. fifty, sixty bucks from something like that? So I mean, I just decided to do all that on my own for now. Yep. Um, it might get to a point where I, you know, I grab somebody to really be that person for me, but. Uh, for right now, it's just kind of yeah. me, me and my dad and my mom and just a couple other people that just, you nice. know, put in some input every now and then. Yeah. You've been using that match point thing. Have you heard about that at all? Have you I have. Yeah. I have. Yeah. The owner of match point, we, um, <laughs> we talked a little bit nice about a couple different things, but I think that's a really cool, like, yeah, like easy way idea to facilitate. And easy way yeah. To, yeah exactly. Easy way to make do shit stuff. happen. Yeah. 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 That's awesome, man. What about, um, all right. So talk to me a little bit. I played baseball. When I came to LSU, I knew LSU was kind of, and this might sound douchey, arrogant or whatever, but it was a little bit of like a stepping stone. It was like, my mindset was like, I'm going to go to college, wherever it was. I'm going to get a little better and then I'm going to get drafted and go play Mm -hmm. professional baseball. I fell in love with LSU and wound up winning a national championship. And my experience here was completely different. But is it kind of similar for football? Are you training like and have your eyes on the nfl and like that kind of stuff obviously you're present you're here you want to win and stuff but is that the ultimate goal do you start training differently and setting your life up for that stuff yeah i mean like i'm pretty sure it's like especially at a school like lsu yeah that's everyone's goal right like no one's goal was obviously our goal is to win that national championships here like that's like the immediate short-term goal yeah Yeah. like we want to all win and win that this year like obviously But also, like, everybody is also not just here to play for now. Like, we're here to be able to feed our families or make our living from doing this, playing this sport. Yeah. Um, And, yeah, I mean, that's always a constant reminder through any decisions you make um, and anything you do. Like, you're always thinking what you put on the internet, like, whatever. It's always, like, it's a business now. It's it's obviously a game. Um, You have to be good at the game for it to be a business. Yep. But... Um, you know, definitely a lot of thought goes into different things like that. And, you know, like for me, definitely like NFL, like that's what I want to do. I want to do that. I want to be smart with my money, invest it, whatever, whatever. Yep. And then not have to do anything else. Yeah. Just, yeah. just play, be just a football player. 35 like, years think? old, yeah. just be done. Yeah. And just travel and yeah. have just a family, do all have that. Have a family, and travel it. and just have a good life. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. And, that's you know, awesome. make help make my kids successful hope maybe let them do the same thing but yeah that's that's far down the road yeah exactly you so. got way too how old are you 19 18 uh, 19 on the 18th of december nice. so we're coming up. yeah coming up that's dope man what about do you play other sports growing up basketball nice were you good um i was all right i yeah. was just like kind of bore cleaner yeah just Four strong, cleaner like, assist just like, and got to the glass yeah. every now and then yeah that's dope but like i, I i'm not like you weren't a skilled, like, whatever. I was about recruited. to, like, drop you and yeah, yeah, yeah. hit a step back there. Yeah. Did you ever dunk? Do you have any dunks? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. See? I look. was like, yeah, let's go. Look, look, ready? So you played all throughout high school, like, all four years? Yeah, I played all four years. That's and we, dope. we won state every year. Really? Four years in a row That's in basketball cool. and two in a row in, uh, in football. You guys had any good players, like, that went to any uh, big schools or anything? One of our kids went to UL and... Another of them um, is playing at a school out in Dallas. Okay. Um, nice. Dallas Baptist University. Oh, yeah, DBU. Yeah. DBU. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, ready? Yes. We're going to throw these, uh, throw this on YouTube so we can see it. Oh, that's fun. Let's go. That's fun. That's nice. A little alley oop action. Yeah. I like that. It's all right. We'll get it up. Is it standing? The nut, the mic. Let's see. That's good. We're almost done. We're wrapping up in anyway in the next couple of minutes. Um, damn, that's fun. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I miss high school basketball. Bro. Yeah, basketball like, was just fun. It was. That's like, was like basketball was just like, and it wasn't really the sport I was focusing on. Exactly. We were looking at a video. Yeah. So yeah, we were we were watching Jack uh, down the dunk in uh, high school basketball. Yeah, what's called? It was like obviously like in anything I'm competitive, so I hate to have bad games. Yeah. But like, if I had a bad game of football, I would be like. Mortified, like, depressed. Yeah, yeah. but if I would had a bad game in basketball, it was like, and we had so many games in basketball, it yeah, was just exactly. like yeah. on to the next one. I yeah. mean, you damn, lose on a Tuesday, you go back on Friday night, and it's fine. Yeah, yeah you like, drop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
100%. That was the same thing for me. It was like, I used to look forward to basketball so much. It was so much fun. It was just not as serious as like right. baseball. It was like, right. oh, fuck, you lose a game or you do something bad. It feels like your career is like on the line. Over. Shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, good stuff, man. Definitely. I'm going to let you get Definitely. back to doing all your, uh, you know, important college shit. Yeah. You're going back to school, doing being a <laughs> kid sure. and doing all that stuff. For sure. I thank you for the time. We're looking forward to the next uh, autograph session for sure. And, Most definitely. Uh, and developing this relationship more in the next couple of years while you're at school. Most definitely. Yeah, dude. Thank you. I appreciate Sounds it. Sounds good. Yes, sir.